Hi, I'm Jonathan. And we were tagged by the Biblio Feline to do the rapid fire book tag, and we're going to try and get through it quick and painless. Start us off. Ebook or physical book? Physical book, no contest. Ebook, but it's close. Hardback or paperback? Paperback. Paperback. Online or in store book shopping? In store. I, I can't even remember the last time I bought a book online. In store. Trilogies or series? Trilogies. Series. Heroes or villains? Heroes. 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 A book you want everyone to read? Uh. Daughter Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Night Watch by Terry Pratchett. Recommend an underrated book. River of Teeth by Sarah Galley. That sounds right. If I got the name wrong, we will put it right here. Uh, I got reminded of this one recently. Uh, and uh, Halo, The Fall of Reach by... I have no idea who wrote that book. So um, we'll look it up and put it in the doodly-doo. That may have been where it was mentioned, but it's true. That book is <laughs> underrated. Um, the last book you bought? Uh, the last book I bought was Three Dark Crowns by Kendari Blake, but I bought it for a friend. The last book I bought for myself was Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Uh, to Kill a Mockingbird by... It'll be in the doodly-doo. I'm really bad with names, okay? Okay. Please stop judging me. Okay. B please stop judging the internet. Uh... Weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark? A sandwich. No context for that answer. Um, <laughs> I... Honestly, I can't think of anything. I almost never use bookmarks. I, I don't like them. Um, he just remembers the page number and goes back to it later. Yeah, I just like flip through it and find my spot really quickly. I never understood the appeal. Uh, used books. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Top three favorite genres? Uh, fantasy, mystery, and sci-fi. Sci-fi, dystopia, and space opera too close to sci-fi. Space are opera. Both dystopia and space opera are subgenres of sci-fi. Anyway, okay. Well, <laughs> it's honest. Borrow or buy? Uh, if you mean from the library, borrow. If you mean from other people, buy. We didn't coordinate this beforehand, but that is, like, word for word what I was going to say. Uh, also, don't borrow books from me if you're not going to give them back. Don't borrow books from me because I can't handle how other people treat my books. That's true. Uh, characters or plot? The writer, I mean, wants to say characters, but I literally cannot read a book that's poorly plotted. Plot. I'm, I'm honest. I love good characters, but I'll read a book with bad characters and good plot. Though to be fair, I will read a book with a bad plot if it's got really good characters, as long as the plot's like not incomprehensible. Functional, yeah. Uh, long or short books? Long. Long. Long or short chapters? Short. I read before bed. Long. I don't care. Name the first three books you think of. Um, The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, The Likeness by Tana French. I don't know why I can't think of any books now. Uh, Miss Spider's Tea Party. I don't know who it's by, but I read it to my kid like ten times a week, so. Um, Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. Uh, the Book of Atris by, I'm gonna have to look it up. It's been years since I read that book. I don't know why it's in my head. Um, and you did this to me. Ancillary Justice, Book of Atris, um, Anathem, sure. Uh, by Neil Stephenson. A book that makes you laugh and a book that makes you cry. Um, laugh Stiff by Mary Roach and Cry 
was that book I read that made me cry so hard recently? The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner. Uh, a book that makes me laugh. Guards, Guards by Terry Pratchett. And a book that makes me cry, Seven Eves by Neil Stephenson. Oh, God, yeah. That book messed me up. Yeah. Uh, our World or Fictional World? <laughs> fictional World. Fictional Who Worlds. Would this? Audiobooks. Yes or no? No. I No, I have auditory processing issues. I can't. He loves them. I can't. I do. Uh, I'm listening to at least two at any given point. Uh, I'm getting into podcasts, though. That I can handle. If it's like a conversation, I can. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? All the time. Yeah, occasionally. It, it, all the time. Book to movie or book to TV adaptations? Both. I really like them both. I'm not answering that. Both. Book to movie. Book, uh... I, I don't know. I've, I would have I've, said that before American Gods, but I love the American, American Gods, Gods was TV good, adaptation. but it just in general, book to TV adaptations have kind of soured me a little bit on the like That's genre fair. or whatever you want to call that. I much prefer the just kind of one and done approach. A movie or TV show that you preferred to its book? Oh, uh, Lord of the Rings. Every one of the movies, like them all better. Not the Hobbit, though. That was that was the obvious answer. Um, okay, so what I was originally going to say was uh, the Maze Runner movie because I tried reading the book and honestly I didn't really get into it, but I quite liked that movie. But I Lord of the Rings, but that is there is no other like good answer to that. They are love... cinematic masterpieces. They yeah, I mean the the books movies. are that is not a knock on the Lord of the Rings. So much as, like, praise for just the, like, skillful adaptation of that book series into... They're amazing movies. I think we all know this. Like, the third one won Oscar. Like, it's... The, it, it honestly didn't even occur to me because that would just... I mean, that's not even one that, like, was in my head as in the running for this. Um, series or standalone? Uh, series, but short series. Yeah, I can get behind that. I, I like series to trilogies, but I don't like, like... Or a really long standalone. What are the other? That's... There's an optimum link for stories. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting my earlier answer of series to stand... Or to trilogy earlier. I want to change that to trilogy, and I'm going to go with series here, because I... We're very indecisive people. We like it. Look, we just love books. Is it a book? I love it. That is not true. We'll get into that in a different video. <laughs> I love it conceptually. That doesn't mean that I actually want to read it. But I love the existence of it as a book. That's fair. Um, That's the last question. Yeah, I was going to say, we're supposed to be doing something now. Um, if, well, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Links to our books uh, our goodreads and all the books we talked about are down in the doodly doo um this is a tag video i'm gonna try and actually start tagging people um i will tag sophie book and leah and the 26 letters uh have fun if you want to do it no pressure we had a really good time thank you for tagging us when we'll see y'all soon bye